Hello YouTube, welcome to another video from Eternals Information Technology Group. This is a small video that I made to showcase how I do my break jobs. All break jobs I do use the same or similar methods that are shown in this video. The reason that I said the same or similar is due to the fact that this is the first time that I have come across this particular style of caliper. They require you to twist them in order to compress them. I am used to the ones that require the use of a clamp of some kind to push them in, thus compressing them, not twisting them. I thank the person on the YouTube channel, South Main Auto Repair LLC, for his videos on car work. One of his videos that I recently watched allowed me to figure out a workaround to compress the caliper by using a wrench to twist the piston as shown in this video. I hope you enjoyed today's video and please check out the aforementioned channel. I will make sure to post a link to his channel in the description below. Hey everyone on YouTube, so it's a really, really good day today. Got a nice person driving on by, uh, and uh, yeah. I'm currently doing a brake job on my 2004 Pontiac Grand Prix GT. And as you can see, I got another Pontiac in the driveway. That is my aunt's car. Uh, her name is Aunt Gina. She is here to visit from Ohio. Anyways, the reason I'm doing the backs is because I did the fronts. And I'm glad I'm doing the backs because, well, I'll show you. On the right is my old pads, on the left is the new. As you can see, oh, hold on. As you can see, there's this pad's pretty much gone. Um, whoever installed these didn't install them right, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. But uh, let's get down to what I do when I do a brake job. <clears throat> so, as you can see, I have WD-40, wire brush, all my tools. I keep what tools I currently use for small projects like this here in this little mini holder right here. But uh. Anyways, whenever I do a brake job, I check the tightness on these as they come off, see if they need cleaned. These wound up needing cleaning. I'm going to clean that one up a little more. Um, I spray WD-40, and then I scrub them down, and then, well, this was clean. But then I wipe them down with a brand new clean microfiber cloth. This way they're nice and good to go. Uh, and I will do the same to the lug nuts when I'm done. Uh, while I do that, I spray these with WD-40 as well. Uh, this way, my um, bolts will loosen up while I do this. It's currently 21 degrees where I live, so excuse me if I start chattering or something. Anyways, as you can see, this piston is solid. It has two B points. What I have been doing... Oh, let me sit down. <clears throat> Oi, I'm huge. And I am taking one of my wrenches that fits that V-shape perfectly. I'm slotting this through one end and then just turning it like that and turning it to the right. I'll show you that in a minute. Let's go ahead and get this other brake pad off. Now, when I first turned these, they were really stiff, so I had to be really careful. This is not meant to be used to compress these back in. You cannot use a clamp tool or a similar to press these back in. I'm pretty sure they make a tool for it, but I'm a broke kid. Well, broke adult. Well, I sound like I'm a kid. I need help. But anyways, what I do is I get this in there, I hold that down, and then slowly turn it. This way this boot doesn't get damaged and this compresses back in. Now note, these are V-shaped for a reason. They have notches and you must align them with this pin right here. Um, if you do not, these pads will wear unevenly and could potentially lead to damage to your rotor. Oh, just so you know, these bolts right here are... Oh... 916 so at least that's the socket I'm using on them 
Now when you do this, compress it very slowly and easily until it's all the way in and make sure, like I said, not to damage the boot. Um, also, when you, I'll put a link in the description on the pads I bought. They're AC Delco ceramics, so they should last a nice long while. And, um, uh, oh, it's cold. Um, make sure you replace these little clip things whenever you, uh, replace your pads. These wear out over time. They start rusting. They're made of stainless steel, but for some reason, they, at least they're supposed to be made of stainless steel. But they rust, and they get a lot of corrosion and crap on them. Um, also, what I do when I do this job... Oh. Is I'll clean up the bolts. Um, I'll scrub them down, and then wipe them with a cloth so the threads are nice and clean, and they go back in easier. And that's about all there is to it. Let's go ahead and get this job finished and this back on. I'll see y'all in a minute.